In this video, we're going to focus on how to make measurements. There's a couple options that you have. One of the first ones is this quick measure key that you see right here. And when you click that, what the quick measurement key does is it pops up a number of normal measurements that you might want to make. So for example, frequency, um, period of time, uh, volts peak to peak, the RMS cycle, and it actually displays them using cursors in the Graticule itself. You'll see that there's some other things shown like rise time and the mean cycle, um, those types of things. So this is, if you want to get a quick look and some quick measurements, it's exactly what that button's for. The second option, so if we turn that back off, is to actually go into the measurement um, hard key itself. And so when you go in there, we'll kind of walk through what you'll find. And one of the first things that you'll notice is you have the ability to put up to eight different measurements. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with measurement one. We'll turn that on. Um, then you have the ability to change what those measurements are. And um, so for measurement one, you have all kinds of options. Um, we break it down to kind of basic measurements and then your vertical measurements, your horizontal measurements, and your count measurements. One of the interesting things that you may notice is we try to give you a breakdown of what the um, the measurements actually are. So like here, peak minus, it'll show you the minimum peak. Peak plus will show you the maximum voltage peak. And so these, again, they try to make it pretty intuitive so you can quickly look and see um, what the, uh, the different measurements are going to do. So let's go ahead and select a peak to peak measurement. Um, on that, you need to tell it what the source is. So in this case, we're, we only have one channel on, and it's channel one. But of course, you have the option to change that to um, other channels or uh, math, reference, depending on what you're using and what you have uh, um, available at the time. The next thing that I'm going to jump to real quick is just statistics. And statistics is a really good one because it allows you to um, get another bar with statistical information on the measurement itself. So for volts peak to peak, you can see we give you the current value, the minimum, the max, the mean, the standard deviation, how many waveforms that we have made that measurement on. And the RTM 3000 does a pretty quick job of um, accumulating waveforms so you can get accurate measurements. Now again, you know, much like we've talked about in some of the other videos, if you have a bunch of measurements turned on, you can of course adjust the size of that. Um, table. Um, you can jump back to just the measurement itself. Um, this might be valuable if you're going through and you want to um, say save off the screenshot and uh, save a small uh, or use less space basically. It'll lay them out uh, horizontally. Um, in addition, you may have noticed on the statistical piece you can sh uh, save that off um, as well. If you want to reset the statistics it's this button right here and it'll start new. Um, a couple other things underneath the measurement menu that uh, are probably good to know. So one of them is the reference level. So when you're making vertical measurements, um, you can go through and you can set what the different levels are. In general, we default to 1090, um, but of course you can change that to whatever you see fit. And then finally, um, you can use a gate and you can set that gate up if you want to measure just a certain portion of the waveform. So when we turn on the gate, you'll see that it gives you a blue bar on what that looks like. If you want to go into the gate and actually define what that is, um, you can do it both in percentage and in absolute as well.